Hello folks. Well, if you're watching this video, you're likely experiencing some issues with your Samsung S95B television like I was. Mine simply just wouldn't turn on. I wasn't seeing any red indicator light. And when I went to go, uh, when I used the power button on the remote or the power button on the television, nothing would boot up. Um, this apparently is a reoccurring issue with this television. There's a lot of people online talking uh, and complaining about this issue and uh, kind of frustrating because this TV just came out a couple of years ago. Unfortunately, mine is out of warranty, so Samsung is not being any help uh, with, with me and my issue here. But however, uh, there is a, I think, a fairly straightforward fix to this. It appears that the, the problem pertains to the power board on this television. Now, if you can replace this, uh, people are saying that this will resolve the issue. Now, this board, um, I'm here in Canada, it goes for about $200 Canadian or maybe $150 US if you buy it off of eBay. Um, you can buy it from Samsung directly, but they're marking it up uh, 3 4X uh, off that number. So I would suggest going the eBay route. It appears to be the same product, the same exact board. So I don't see any reason to go with Samsung. Um, so the first step here is getting this TV off um, off your entertainment unit, off your entertainment system. I would suggest getting two people. It really helps to have one person kind of gripping the side here. And uh, or sorry, having one person, you know, grab one side, have one hand here and one hand up here. Um, and then carefully bring it down and, and maybe uh, put down a nice soft blanket just so you don't scratch the screen. And uh, once you get it down, your next step will be to take off of take off this base here. Um, so this is also actually pretty straightforward. Uh, you probably forget if you've had this TV for a few years, you probably forget how you put this thing on. Uh, but really, there's just a couple hooks here. Now I'm going to fast forward here. I'm just going to take this off for a second. You can see there's a number of little nubs here. So this, this thing connects onto those nubs. Um, obviously it's not gonna look like this when you have it up, but yeah, it's gonna look something like this. So it really helps if you have a third person, um, having two people kind of holding the TV and then having a third person kind of just jostle this thing down. It'll, it'll dislodge off these hooks pretty easily. And, uh, and then that step's done. So if you've got uh, two friends hanging around, definitely tag them in on this project. Now, once that piece is off, uh, that probably what's the most frustrating part of this whole experience. Now that's getting this back piece off. Now I've already done this. Um, so it's, uh, yeah, but basically what you, what you need to do, and this is, took me a bit of trial and error figuring this out. I'll try to get it back on here so you can see there's there's these little clips here um, so there's a clip there and there and there's eight in total now at first I thought you're supposed to like push these clips in here and and kind of push them in and try to get this piece off that way that's really not the right way to do it as far as I can tell um, what you want to do is just uh, usually find a flathead screwdriver, ideally one that's maybe a little bigger than this, and kind of put it in between here. It's going to be really tight, but you're going to want to put this in here and kind of jostle it, maybe back and forth. You're going to, you're going to damage the plastic probably a little bit when you do this, but um, I can't think of a better way myself. But anyway, so you kind of just jostle it back and forth and maybe have a hand here on the side and, and just kind of pull up and eventually it will come loose. Uh, persistence is key here. It's, it's, it takes a bit of time. And again, if you've got a friend to help you, um, that's probably the way to do it. And then slowly work your way across here with that flat head and slowly popping it up. Again, you don't really need to like touch those, those little pins um, here at all. Um, you just really want to go in the, in the crack here. And, and kind of dislodge it that way. It gets a little tricky with this thing here. Um, it took us, we, we got this first half off pretty quickly, but then this second half, uh, we want to be really uh, cautious here of this, this middle part. 
we didn't want to damage that. So that took some time, but again, just, just be persistent and get that uh, flathead screwdriver in there and eventually it'll, it'll get loose. Um, yeah, so once you've done that, so what you'll do, just take that off and you'll be uh, presented with the three boards here. Now the power board is on the far right hand side. So this is the guy that's uh, giving us our trouble. So you're going to want to um, get this, this board off, obviously. So it's, it's a little bit challenging. Um, so the first step, there'll be a screw right here. So you want to unscrew that. Um, yeah, so that's, that's, that part's easy. Um, but then you want to get these, these uh, I don't know what these are called. These connectors uh, disengaged or removed from the board. So this was also a little tricky. Again, I'm, I'm not a I'm not a tech whiz here. I'm not a not a technician by any means. But basically, I took again that flathead screwdriver and kind of um, went back and forth here on these and kind of slowly pulled up, 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 up on both sides and in the middle, and eventually it comes loose. Um, it's in there pretty good. Um, but yeah, with some persistence. Oh, and then make sure you're also holding this part back. Um, this, as far as I can tell, it kind of pins, kind of like locks this whole thing into place. So this, this piece right here, you're going to want to push that back. Yeah, like so. So do that for this one and this one and the screw. And then the last step is getting this board off. Now this is also a little tricky. There's there's these clips. So how this is how this is adhered in here or uh, strapped in here is you got these clips here. And now these clips go into this metal housing here. Now I actually broke one of these off doing this. So again, I, I don't know if this is the best approach, but um, yeah, you basically want to, as far as I can tell, you want to kind of lift, lift the board and then move it this way. So, so you're basically, yeah, just removing those clips from that, that metal housing there. And uh, another thing to be mindful of is this locking locking nub you'll want to yeah again I think you just want to lift and then pull back uh, anyway that's what worked for me again I don't know if that's the best idea or the best approach again we we did break off one yeah this one got broken in the process but again not the end of the world if you're if you're uh, replacing this one anyway uh, you're probably gonna toss this one um, but yeah it's, uh, I think it's doable uh, for, for the layman to, to put this in. Um, again, the, tr the hardest part is just, just getting, those, getting this back piece off. But once you've done that, um, you can go ahead and, and source that new part. I would suggest, again, looking on eBay. Um, again, you could probably save a bit of money buying it off eBay as opposed to going through, going through Samsung directly. Okay, I hope that helps. I didn't really see any videos covering this topic on YouTube, and I thought, you know what, I should just make one and maybe uh, maybe help someone else out. So uh, if you have any more questions, let me know in the comments. But yeah, that's all for now. Thanks, guys.